Hey, this is Cap Smack doing a ship build video for Yvanka Tramp. And uh, she's got the Lakari science ship from the uh, 7th anniversary event. I wanted to show that ship off. And here is the Lakari ship in space. Very nice looking ship. And we'll show it to move around a little bit. Very cool. And I even want to show off the uh, interior of the ship. Because I think it's pretty slick. So I'll just beam to the interior of the ship. As you can see, there's a very futuristic look as compared with uh, other Starfleet vessels. All kinds of plants growing out of out of the consoles. Very Lucari. And then we have the bridge. So that's the interior. So let's get back to, uh, well, let's just take a look at the gear that I've got on the ship. So this is a budget build. Now, if you go to the market and look for market prices in EC for everything I got here except for the Braden gear set, which came free with the uh, featured mission for three weeks along with the uh, ship which I was able to get after three weeks all of these uh, weapons and mods and things that I picked up off the market yeah, they cost about three and a half million now, I'm still calling that a budget build because it's pretty easy to get three and a half million EC with three characters if all you do is the uh, tour of the galaxy every day for 45 minutes. It'd take you maybe three days, maybe four at the most, to get the, you know, for, after four days you're gonna have uh, six million credits, million and a half a day. It's maybe three days to get enough uh, EC to buy what I've got here. Uh, you know, assuming you can find similar prices. So I've got uh, Herald Weapons. Right, two beams and a quantum torpedo, which uh, I like torpedoes and beams. And then I was able to find a resonating secondary deflector for survivability. That uh, gives me more part gen. Gives me a bigger shield, which is always nice. And then I've got the Braden four-piece set. This was free just from doing the Omega Particle collections every day. And uh, right in the featured mission once, you get 400 event uh, marks, event credits. And then, uh, you know, running right the featured mission three times and then getting the ship. So I've got uh, two aft beams and a tri-cobalt because I like that mix. My cobalt fires once every 30 seconds, gives me enough time to attack from the front, and then sweep by the target, which I'm invariably going to be doing at least once every 30 seconds, and then fire a nice tri cobalt out the back. Meanwhile, my rear beams are attacking from the rear. And then I've got uh, EPS flow. I've got three of them, and they're all 75%. And then I've got uh, a weapon power setting, just for a little added boost to my weapons. And then for science consoles, I've got uh, three part gens. Those are the best three I could find. And then I've got uh, a shield emitter to get my shields back up a little bit faster. And of course, I'm using the protomatter field projector as the only console. In my tactical consoles, I've got uh, two directed energy manifolds, about 20% each. 
And if you take a look at the week number three run for the featured mission, you'll see what the ship does. You can take a look at that in the uh, in the videos list. That'll give you an idea as to you know what the ship can do. But there's not a big difference in real terms between spending three and a half, four million EC to uh, get some nice equipment for a ship versus run of the mill stuff you just get for doing missions. Because I've I've run this mission every week for three weeks, three different characters, three very different builds, and it's basically the same kind of a run for me. Now there might be a 10% difference, there might even be a 20% difference, but anything less than a 50% you're probably not going to notice that much. Now it's a very fun ship to fly, don't get me wrong. This flying burrito is a whole lot of fun to fly, and with only four weapons, four beams, it does really good against, you know, the ships that are in the uh, featured mission. Now if I get an opportunity to, uh, you know, take the ship into doing some, uh, you know, reputation mark runs, uh, I'll, I'll do that, but I don't, I don't do a lot of that right now. Uh, you know, at this point, I'm just focusing on a couple of reputations, keep it uh, less of a grind. I'm focusing on Nakari and New Romulus as my two primary two primary reps that I'm running, but I'm really not doing that with this character at all. My main character I'm doing that with, so I get to rep five, rep tier five, and then I can sponsor my other characters because they'll gain rep faster. Anyway, this is uh, this is the build. Let's take a look at the interior a little bit. And of course, this is Ivanka Tramp. You can let your imagination run wild as to why I named her that. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream daily. I get a prime time in the U.S. Central Time Zone uh, stream, and I also uh, stream at the same time to uh, YouTube and you know a couple other services. So uh, hey, have fun. On the way out of the video, I'll show off the ship a little more. It's a great ship. It's an awesome ship. It's a lot of fun. And with one console, uh, you know, it's only got one console. And it does great. Okay. See you online.